box plot as well as the histogram how we can draw the box plot as well as histogram using pandas so first of all for that i am taking the data of bike store sales data uh, and i am storing into the sales and i am checking this particular data set and in order to draw the plot i am uh, importing the matlab plot and in order to draw the histogram either you can use this approach syntax approach or either you can use this syntax approach so what we are saying we are saying sales in which we have stored the data histogram okay column name uh, for that which you want to draw the histogram then bins so in bins we are giving the numbers from smallest to largest and we have decided the class interval of 400 okay and then i am giving the figure size or either you can use this approach okay first of all we are accessing a column then we are saying plot what kind of plot histogram and then the same thing so either method can be applied to draw the histogram okay there is another way instead of giving the bin or you can see the intervals of the bin by yourself just uh, give the number of bins okay that is a so that means python or you can say pandas all automatically determine how many uh, what should be the class interval for every bin but the number of bin must be a as well as when we are writing down by age group that means for every age group it is developing the histogram of the profit variable every uh, separately okay similarly we can draw the box plot for a variable so again we can use two syntax either you can use this approach or either you can use this approach okay so that is sales dot box uh, the column name or you can say the name of the variable uh, for which we want to draw the box plot then the figure size so this is the box plot okay as you know that in a box plot we have uh, uh, the box with respect to box we have three lines okay at the bottom we have q1 and the center we have q2 which is equal to median and the top row is basically or you can say top line is basically of the box plot is representing q3 and this row or you can say this line is basically representing the upper whisker and the top bottom one is representing the lower whisker okay uh, i just explain you what does that mean is basically how we can interpret so let's uh, first discuss how we can draw the box plot vertically so if i write down uh, uh, add a argument word is equal to false so we would can see the box plot uh, horizontally so this is vertical way this is horizontal way similarly if i add by age group that mean box plot with respect to every age group now come to the point how we can interpret that one so basically histogram as well as box plot can be used for the same purpose in order to identify the shape of that distribution or you can say shape of the data okay if this shape is look like a bell curve then it is saying that it's a symmetrical curve okay uh, but right now it is look like a positive skew so that means positive skew is indicating that most of the sales are uh, under this uh, line over here and very few are going towards the right hand side values okay similarly with the help of box plot we can also uh, take this interpretation that that is the same way 